Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, I want to talk about the simple diet approach that I've found. It allows you to just eliminate all of like the, habit, all the mental bandwidth, thinking about what foods to eat. And at the same time, also allows you to feel great, you know, have a lot of energy, being able to um, feel great overall, have great skin, have great health, have great hair, like all that stuff that you want. And um, really is optimizing your life for having mental bandwidth to put onto other things that are more important than just deciding like what type of food to eat. So exactly what this is, it's basically three different foods. I've dialed it down after having tried pretty much every diet that is out there and having tried like vegan diet, fasting, high carb, low carb, everything out there. I've like dialed it down to three different foods that I've been doing now for the last about one and a half years. Three different foods you can be having to have to feel great all the time, have great energy, all the things that you want and making it in a very simple, simple way while still making it delicious as well. So what are these three foods? Three foods. First thing is steak or like red meat in, in general. And I'm going to get into exactly how to prepare this the best way because there's a lot of different ways you can prepare it. Some ways are going to be way better than others. And so I'll get into that. Second thing is unpasteurized butter. Uh, so that means unheated butter, butter that hasn't been, uh, or the milk hasn't been heated up previously, which means that all the bacteria and all the nutrients are still in it. And the last one is eggs, um, preferably be like pasteurized organic eggs that have been like out on the pastures. So those are the three things. Those foods, I've been eating that way and only having these foods pretty much for the last, at, at this point around, around one and a half years. Been able to feel great, have a great amount of energy, have been able to have great skin, all those things. And most importantly, having a very simple diet allows me to spend way less time on uh, like cooking food, thinking about what I'm gonna eat, and just have way more mental clarity and way more kind of stability in my mind because I don't need to think about that stuff while also enjoying it a lot because these foods are great. So it does how to actually prepare them and how to actually like eat these things in the best way. Couple of different alternatives. When it comes to meat, first off, obviously, I made a video about this in the past, you can have it raw. I believe that having it raw is like ultimately is the best thing to do for your health because it gives you the most nutrients because when you heat up meat, when you heat up it, when you heat it up, a lot of the nutrients that are in it are sensitive to heat. So you destroy nutrients and it become less, becomes less nutrient dense when you heat it up. So the best way to consume it is by having it raw. The issue with that is two different things. First off, you're gonna have a lot of detoxification. You will have a lot of like symptoms, especially if you're someone who is a bit skinnier. You will have, will probably like throw up. You will probably have um, like diarrhea and things like that, which is not very like fun to have, obviously. Second thing is also it doesn't taste good at all. Like it's not very appetizing to have either. So what I found after testing like different areas of kind of like, doing it, like cooking steak and after having it raw, having it, having it cooked, like what I found is the best kind of medium is to just cook the steak um, very rare. So cook it in a way where you have like a good sear on the sides, or if you're doing burgers, like sear them so they have a good um, like surface level, but make sure they're still super red on the inside because then you can keep, still have the nutrients that comes from like raw meat that are on the inside because it, the meat on the inside hasn't been like cooked completely. Um, and you still have like the taste that comes from having that sear on the outside. And you can put some salt on it as well. I think that's the ideal way to have it in terms of optimizing for both uh, health and also taste as well. So that's really what in terms of meat and in terms of butter, different ways you can have it. You know, first way is just like eating it raw. It's kind of disgusting to do. It takes some time to get used to it. So it's not going to be like too applicable for most people. What we'll do is just put it on like a steak, melt it down like that. And then you will have it, it will make the steak more juicy and you don't have to like eat the butter like cold raw. So that's usually the best way to have it. And you can also put it like when you're cooking eggs, you can do like a scramble, put some butter in it or put a lot of butter in it and it makes it way more like kind of fluffy and way better. And then eggs, obviously you can, you can drink them raw. Um, that's probably the most fast and the most convenient way to do it if you're in a time crunch or just uh, cook them. But the best way that I do it, at this point I do it pretty much every single day is just make a scramble, like I said. Scrambled eggs, put some butter in it and that's really, 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 really an easy way and fast way to make it as well and tastes, tastes great as well. Put some salt on that and that's, that's it. So that's really it. Like that's how I structure it right now. It's super simple. I just cook up one, uh, one kilo of meat every single day and uh, do ribeye right now. Then I have like 10, usually between like 10 to 12 eggs. I scramble up, put some butter in it. 
I just have all this in the one like big meal at the end of my day after I'm done with work. And it tastes great. I feel after that I'm able to go to sleep, sleep great because I had a big meal so I get kind of tired after it. And have great energy throughout the entire day. No like dips, no ups and downs. I'm able to have like this kind of clear mind, be able to focus throughout the entire day. Um, and the last advice I want to give you with this is, I think that like the only thing that's kind of like a variable in this diet is just the amount of fat versus protein. Because if you increase your fat, you will feel more energy. And one mistake that I made in the beginning of starting this was I would have too little fat. I would have too small amount of fat. I would be having like lean steaks or like lean cuts of meat and not adding butter to that. And that's the thing you need to realize with this is when you're having this diet, you don't have, have any carbs at all, which means you need to add in fat as your energy source. So fat is a great energy source. It gives you, like it helps you so much with your hormones, with your skin, like all that kind of stuff. But um, a lot of people are scared to kind of eat a lot of fat because of like stuff that we learn from like propaganda, television, and like news and stuff like that about fat being bad, which is not actually true. That's again, that's a topic for a different video. But the lesson there is just like applying more fat in your diet is gonna give you more energy, make you feel better overall. And that's like a key to make this diet work because if you eat too little fat, you will just have like no energy at all. You will feel like shit. And uh, that's gonna like really kind of destroy your potential of this diet and probably, probably make you fall off pretty quickly. So that's it for today, guys. Simplest diet I've found, the best way to optimize your life to, uh, for success and achieving your goals in career, health, whatever it is. Steak, raw butter, eggs. You can live all those three foods, foods, delicious, taste great, have great energy, all that stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have tried this in the comments or if you're open to trying it. I'll be curious to hear what you guys think and your experience with this. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.